Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Peter Watch. I'm a stock market researcher and investor. I talk to people about the stock market, telling them to save, invest, and grow well. Today's topic is this, what it takes to be a billionaire. What it takes to be a billionaire. But before we reach the billionaire level, let's talk of what it takes to be a millionaire. Ladies and gentlemen, I have this uh, idea that everyone can be rich. So I'm working on it myself to make myself rich as an individual. And so there are a few things that I've discovered along the way. One, being rich and wealthy requires a lot of sacrifice. Let me tell you what it involves. One, if all of us get money, whether you're getting money from business or you're getting money from a salary, most people get money from, uh, from the, the two sources, either from business or salary. Now, when we get money from salary, what happens with most Kenyans is we get money and we spend it. And we spend all of it. Now we are in December holidays and guys are in a frenzy. Guys are excited. Man, woohoo! It's time to celebrate. Well, it's time to celebrate. But remember, January is coming. And January is one of the driest months ever. Are millionaires and billionaires worried? No. They have the money. They can enjoy life. But for many Kenyans, they are worried when January comes. But one thing I've learned about being rich is one thing. It requires a one, discipline. Commit to save a portion of your money. 10%, 20%, and do that over a period of time. 30 years is how long it will take for you to be a billionaire if you are saving for a period of 30 years and compounding. It's not self saving. Saving alone will not help you. What will help you is you get money, grow it. Get money, grow it. Get money, grow it. I'll give people an example of a hen that produces eggs and eggs turn into chicks. Or rather, eggs hatch into chicks. And chicks grow into hens. And these, now the mother hen have, uh, or the mother hen has several chicks or several children that grew into daughters. And now these daughters can also produce more eggs and the, the eggs hatch into chicks and the whole family grows. Now we end up with the grandmother hen, mother hen, children hen, daughters hen, and the whole lineage grows. That is how your money should grow. So one of the things I've learned, what it takes to be a billionaire, one, discipline. Two, compounding. You need to learn the art of compounding. Three, you need to take, be able to take on risks. Like I tell people to invest in the stock market. Well, the stock market is risky. You can buy a share and it goes down. So what happens? People get stressed and people get jittery. What I tell them is very simple, don't worry. As long as you buy stocks when it's low, as long as you buy stocks when it's low, and it's a good stock and it's a good company, the stock will eventually go up. And so what it takes to be a billionaire, it takes a lot of sacrifice, it takes a lot of time, it is a slow process, money doesn't grow quickly, I've made it my duty to study the life of billionaires. I have here with me Warren Buffett. He's a billionaire, hundred billion dollars rich that I'm studying. I have with me here Jack Ma of Alibaba. He's also a billionaire, about seventy billion dollars rich. I have with me here also Grant Cordon of Ten Times Rule. I have with me also Richard Branson, a billionaire, about. 15 billion dollars rich and so I've learned a lot there are more that, there are more soft copy books that I have in my computer as a soft copy that I'm also reading about I've read the life of many billionaires and one it takes a lot of sacrifice these guys work very hard they put in a lot of hours to see their business venture succeed and then they took on a lot of risks. One of the risks you can try, you can, you know, of Richard Branson is last month. I think this was, uh, this is uh, December 2020. 
this was November. November, this October, November 2020, 2021, the guy went to the moon, or rather not to the moon, but they went to space. This is a risky venture. Anything can happen and the whole space shift crashes and they will perish. Billionaires take big risks. Even if you look at the life of uh, Alibaba, starting an internet e-commerce shop in China in the year 98-99 was not easy. The guy was eventually, the guy was working as a teacher in high school, teaching uh, English and uh, these other things. The guy left his employment, Jack Ma, left his employment to venture into business telling people about the internet. It was not easy. So these guys, the billionaires, they take a big risk. They take big risk. And then they are guys with vision. They know they what they want. And they want, and they are working on it with a lot of dedication and persistence. So ladies and gentlemen, if you want to be rich, if you want to be a billionaire, you must put in a lot of sacrifice, you must persevere, and you must focus, and you must work on it with dedication. And a lot of sacrifice. You must save and you must invest and you must grow your money. If you invest in the stock market and it crashes, don't sell your shares at a loss. Don't sell your stocks at a loss. Hold. Stocks go up, they go down, they go up, they go down, they go up, they go down. Eventually they'll go up. And you'll recover and your money will grow. Especially if you have a solid company. Like let's say Safaricom or EABL. A company with almost zero competition, then your stocks will do well. Your investments will do well. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. If you are new to this channel, subscribe. If you are not in our Telegram group, join our Telegram group. That's where we talk about the stock market 24-7. We have people from Australia, from Asia, from America, from Europe. All of them are in the Telegram group. All of them are talking about the stock market. All of them are investing. All of them are trying to grow their money. All of them want to be rich. All of them want to be millionaires. All of them want to be billionaires. And together we'll make our life comfortable. And together we'll all be prosperous. And together we will end poverty. Ending poverty is very important because you know what? None of us want to be poor in our old age. As our ages increase, as our years increase, as the days go by, we want to live a comfortable life. Thank you. See you in the next video.